Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR family gaming video. This is Droid TDR and today, what are we doing Benny? Huh? We're gonna go buy some perfume? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Actually, we're gonna have Lisa go buy perfume. So, Lisa, you ready to go figure out how to do this perfumey concocting? I think you are. Alright, well let's go do it. We have to go seek Lan's advice. So, we gotta follow the sparkle path. Lisa's definitely a sparkly person, so we'll just keep the sparkle path going. Er, hard, hard right there. Wait, where'd the sparkle path go? Sparkle path, where are you? Okay, I think it's this way. Wait, what? Seems like someone that needs needs to be talked to. Oh, look, sorry, if you're hitting on me, I'll have to refuse to wait. <laughs> so, what? I'm not hitting on you, my gosh. Um, who are you waiting for? Chochi, he's a sailor. Okay, we don't get to see each other very much. He's not back for van very long. He's already gone for so long. Who knows when he'll be back? I don't know. I can't tell you. Next time he gets back, I'm going to ask him outright when we're going to get married. Okay, well, you go do that. In the meantime, I'm going to hope that a sparkle path will appear for me. I think it's this way. Oh, yeah, I think it's over by the adventurous thing. I probably could have teleported there, couldn't I have? Uh, oh dear. Maybe it's this way. Oh dear. Maybe it's up here. Please give me a sparkle path. Clear the way. Or, wait, what are we doing on the wall? We're on the wall. Okay, we're climbing the wall. Um. Close. It's, it's somewhere around here. Let's climb a tree. There we are. I think I can see it from here. I'm on top of it. Oh, <laughs> there you are. I was so disoriented. Oh, look, here we are. This is land. This is where we need to talk. But first, we have to talk to Applesauce. What's Welcome up, Applesauce? Yeah, how you doing? Are you going to give us something good? Oh, yeah, you will. Let's pick ourselves up some goodies. Yay, we got some mushrooms and things. Wait, why was it only... Oh my gosh, did I really? Oh, I did. 20 hours, let's go to 20 hours. 20 hours, that will work out much nicer. And let's go, Kaya, you can have a fun there too. Still only have two people I can send out. Still gathering random stuff I don't know what to do use for. Lan, we hey. need to ask you for a favor. Yes, we do. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Oh, come on, come on. Sorry, you too, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. No, we need oh, your expertise. It's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. You smell great. Or do you know how to make perfume? Here, let's be subtle. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that you're either joking or being sarcastic. To be fair, uh, I put a lot of effort into my appearance for someone who spends all their time in the great outdoors. Oh my gosh. But I smell great? Don't be ridiculous. Oh my well, goodness. Well, Kaya thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Hmm. Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. Oh, is I it? I still had them with me. Oh, yeah, right. Ha! The truth is out. Lan's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, they were for medicinal use only. Um, anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. Chi Ming? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lan. See you around. See ya. Sorry about saying you smelled good. My bad. Uh, next time we'll tell you you smell like dirt. And maybe that'll make you feel better. Uh, somehow. I don't know. Oh, here's the fortune teller randomly standing in front of some mannequins, right? Yeah, mannequins and dragon statues or things. I don't know. Hello. Hello. You can help. By Let's ask you a question. You smell great. <laughs> uh, I, uh. Sorry.
sorry, you caught me off guard. Most people aren't so direct. Uh, yeah. I think we need more time to get to know each other. Yeah, we're not that uh, subtle. We just wanted to know what perfume you normally use. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't actually use any. What? Really? That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Hmm. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. Really? Because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. Oh. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day. Good grief. While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? What? Ying Ar? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Ar? Ying Ar? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Oh, Great. wow. This is just the intel we need. Finally, Yinger. We're getting somewhere. Yinger, I knew it. See, I could have sworn, though, that Yinger was a pottery maker who used so much innuendo you thought you were going into a store for something else. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I've talked to Yinger. Yes, yes, I have. The scent of spring. What are you up to, Yinger? Well, hello. Hello. You found me at last. I found you I've again. Been waiting for you. Oh, have you now? What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about, about a, couple a couple who was snooping, snooping around, around town, town looking, looking for a sweet-smelling sweet lady. lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. Oh, come on. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. No, it's this it's shiny dot over your head, Why honestly. Why are you making it out like we're bad people? <clears throat> what can I say? People love to talk. Yes, they do. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Like, hey, you smell Relax. good. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you uh, like? Let's see. A bespoke triple silk flower variety. That's what we need. Three in one go. My goodness. Okay. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet smelling ammunition. Oh, what? No, it's for Rex Lapis. Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, hmm. your story just doesn't hold water. Well... Xiong Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. Hmm. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. What? Is that over Paimon's head a little? <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. Okay. But you better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Okie so, dokie. Where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Uh, I don't want to go to that gorge again. It's a big pot. Um, let's try in a kitchen, I guess. You mean one mean restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. All right, good. We won't get attacked, hopefully. All right, rendezvous with Yinger. Where the heck is the restaurant? Uh, this way. No, I got to go over this building, apparently. Oh, no, I don't. I hit my head on the eaves. There we go. There she is. She's ready for us. You ready, Yinger? Let's go. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Okie dokie. Are you ready to please me? Sure, let's what do it. What did you say? I meant make me proud as my assistant. Obviously. Obviously. Well, I'm setting up. You can go and fetch some water. Uh, don't they have a sink? They don't have a sink. Okay then. Water to be fetched. Do they... Do they... Where does one get water? 
Where be the water? I'm looking for water. Fetch some water. Fetch some water. Lower. Two meters. Oh. <laughs> it's out and back. Draw water. Phew. Time to talk to Yinger again. Alright, Yinger. I got you some water. I drew it even. Is this is this a, a nice drawing of water? This water will do nicely. Oh, excellent. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence. Ooh, using the a silk crafting flower bench. essence using a crafting pen. He uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, ah. let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. Okay. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Okay. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Uh. Okay. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Thanks. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Okay, Don't forget okay. to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Okie dokie. Learn how to craft this, that, and the other thing. Tasty chop suey! Let's make some chop suey perfume. I don't think Rex Lapis would like that. Well, maybe you would. Maybe you'd be hungry. I don't know. Good. Earth and water, wind and fire, craft for me what you desire. Um, I think this is right. All right, let's just see here. Is there anyone who's got like extra super good perfume crafting bonuses? No. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. That's an important thing to look for. All right, let's craft this puppy. Please work. All right, use Golden House Maiden to craft one thing. Yes, let's do it. Oh, look at that. It didn't require any skill. It required clicking. I like that type of craft. Let's craft one more. Valley Weaver Essential Oil. Click. Oh, I'm so good at crafting. This is nothing like mortal, mortar and pestles like she was talking about. Um, Fate's Yearning. There we go. Whoop, blink, boom. Done. All three. Look how good we were, Lisa. We did a great job. Let's go back and give them to Yinger. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. Of course it Onto is. the next stage, the most important one of all. All right. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. Okay. You must take care to control the heat during this process. Uh-oh. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. Oh, dear. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Okie dokie. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. Okay. With a little guidance, you help Yinger make some perfume. Hooray! All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. Hooray! A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so <laughs> rare to see nowadays. Uh, I told you it's not like that. I was thinking of you the whole time. No. Anyway... Shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Okie dokie. Who wants to hear this? Okie dokie. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. Okay. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Okay. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. Okay. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Uh, I think you got it. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? Okay. 
I'll leave you with some parting words. Okay. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> Yinger. Uh, Come you're weird. And hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Okay. We'll just hang out and stand in your doorway. The Statue of the Seven. Let's go do it. He has, I know. He's been waiting for our perfumed essence. Wait, Statue of the Seven. Oh, we can... Wait, what? Offer the perfumes to the Statue of the Seven. That sounds like a map quest thing to me. Let's go. Bam. 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 Holy perfumes. Never thought that'd be... Wait. Perfect weather for sipping a cup of tea while gazing out the window. Really? Okay. Well, here's this. You know what? We do need to heal real quick. Let's do that. Statue of the Seven. Uh, let's get a blessing here. Can I get a little higher, y'all? There we go. Little holla holla. There it is. Nice. All right, Mr. Zhang Li. Oh, whoops. I hit it again. I hit it again. Uh, leave. I meant that. There we go. We've right. brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. And we're all in the rain, getting soaked. That's a good time to smell perfume. Did it take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Yes, I am. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Good. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue, this was but a brief moment. Yes, a moment in time. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? Uh... That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Of course. Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. Okay, how do we offer them up? This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's like Yay, a sweet lady. dream. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters yep, of high yep, society yep. love it. All right, and the, the final. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Sent she has a good memory. Something like the darkness. <laughs> something, something. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, Ooh. what was that? Looks like Rex Lapis really likes this one. I guess the final answer is number three. That's the one older ladies like, right? Yeah. Sounds Does like that it. that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? What? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form. Mm. And let's hope the cheesing can catch the real killer. Yes. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. Well, let's see here. I still want to know what the ulterior motives are for Childy Child and the Factory and the cheesing. So, we finished another step our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Are you kidding? This bell? goes on and on. Holy. At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, okay. but aren't you going to come with us? Uh, ah. probably not. I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? Yeah, what is that all about, dude? That smells divine. We got some EXP. We got some goody goody goodies. And let's go see on the map where we got to get to. Oh, it's just back into the... Back into Liyue Harbor. All right. Well, I think that that is a good reason to pause right here, right now, right here, right now, right here, 
Try it now. Did they make a nice couple? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Here, let's go on this side so we don't get that... That... There we go. Yes. Stare at me. I'm getting wet in the rain. But thank you all for watching this crazy perfumey episode. And we will see you in the next one where we go and figure out what the heck we're doing next with this bell. And then, gosh darn it, I am done with this story. I want to go adventuring. Come on, let's go adventuring. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.